Alright, I thought I'd do a gaming video. Since Wes Gross was complaining we hadn't done any gaming related crap lately. So that's cool. I can live with that. I guess I'll do a review. That's not out of the question right now. Plus, uh, everything in town's been like frozen over for golly, for the past several hours. and. And the drive home with ice and all that. I know you guys from up north are probably going, oh, driving over ice is nothing. Yeah, well, uh, around here we don't have ice, okay? Ice does not exist except in our refrigerators and in our alcoholic beverages. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm going to review Forza Motorsport 3. If you read the title of the video, you probably know I'm going to review it. Uh, it's Platinum Hits Edition already, so we know they've sold a bajillion of these. And it's on a two disc set. The other disc requires that you have the hard drive, which I don't because I'm a cheap ass and I bought the arcade version of the Xbox 360 Fat back when it was still way more than I would ever consider paying. So anyways, uh, let's plug it in. Now let it be known, I hate Forza Motorsport 2. I hate it. I've hated it for months. I, I got very far in the game and then I just started hating it because of the AI and the cars that were in there. And it was a hog with the memory usage and everything. I mean memory, I mean like the stuff that's in there. If you had the hard drive, that game is fine because you could have all the cars you want. But when you don't have a hard drive, every car eats up all your memory. On the middle of memory units is built inside here, so... I was down to like 32 megabytes at one point. I had 512 because the, the dang car configurations took up everything. So anyways, here's Forza Motorsport 3. It's still, whenever you start the game, it still says saving. Like, what is it saving? I don't understand what the point is. I haven't installed this too. So I don't have all the access to all the cars, but I do have access to enough of the game to play it. Wow, awesome. Glitched graphics in the back. I'm happy about that. Uh, still glitched graphics. I don't know what's up with that. But anyways, you can see they have plenty of cars in here. Well, these, almost every single one of these, I haven't bought any cars aside from the IROC Z and the Type R Civic. That's it. But anyways, let me get on down to still glitched graphics. Amazing. I hope this isn't how it's going to be the rest of it. Uh, as you will notice, the the whole race uh, selection thing is different from the previous game. You don't just sit there and pick whatever you want. This time, it's kind of like whatever happens, happens. So I don't even know what events I can get into, what, what causes them to pop up, aside from changing cars, which seems to change the events that you can participate in for that month, but at, once you sign up for an event, you kind of are stuck in it. So anyways, let's start the race. And I'll be honest, I was thinking the AI was going to be just as uh, terrible as uh, Forza Motorsport 2, and thankfully, it's not. It's actually better. The AI, the AI actually pass, it lets you pass now instead of being a complete dick like it used to be in Forza Motorsport 2. And if you played Forza, Motors 2, Forza Motorsport too far enough, uh, you'd eventually get to the point where you were neck and neck with all the cars and the AI would just eventually tap your rear end of the car and make you hit crap or spin you out or force you into the dirt so that way you can never win the race. And I can't tell you how many times I've wasted a good 30 or 40 minutes trying to get one race done because of that. Otherwise. There's no challenge because you just sit there and get the fastest car for that particular race. So that way you can be in first and you don't have to worry about them hitting you. But what's the point? If I can't uh, start from somewhere in the grid, aside from first and still win, what's the point? Uh, there is a feature in here where you can do quick upgrades to your car just to get it uh, up to snuff for the competition. Or race if you want to call it, whatever you want to call it. Uh, And most of the cars seem to have an animation for when you uh, shift gears, but not every single one has it. 
from what I've noticed. Yeah, I'll just pass him on the outside. Uh, I have to ride on the shoulder. That's okay. Rumble strip. Good. Oh, well, anyways. Uh, like I said, the, the races and the AI are a lot better than in the previous game. The physics seem to be better, or at least I think they're better, they feel better. Although some cars, I've noticed that they'll do weird and strange things. Oh, man. Okay, I might as well show the rewind feature. Here it is. Um, It's really helpful when you had an accident, and it helps you to perfect your races, really. Which is the whole reason behind the calendar setup, I believe. Because now you have no excuse on why you couldn't pass an event. Because you can just go into the... You can just... The whole time you're racing, you just hit the rewind button and go back to where you didn't uh, mess up. Which is... Which is a good feature. I don't even think any of the Gran Turismo games. I haven't played Gran Turismo 5 yet, so I don't know. I don't know about that particular game. God. Now, Forza Motorsport 2 felt like a crappy game. And in comparison, you can see where Microsoft took their time and really polished up this game really well. Um, actually, I really like this in-car driver view. It's a lot better than the on front of the on the front bumper cam view, which is stupid. I always thought it was. Right. And as you can see, I haven't been hit by the other drivers because of the uh, because of the AI so much better. Of course, if you want to go after and hit the cars, of course it's going to let you, let you do that. But uh, yeah. anyways. I really like the way they got the whole dash. They even have it in kilometers instead of miles per hour, which I gotta commend them for. Uh, that's pretty authentic. Everything feels so authentic in the game. And even though, um, I don't know how everything sounds. I think if you saw in the beginning there where the car revs up and it focuses in on a thing and it has the whole screen shape, I think that's kind of cheesy, but you know, whatever. If you're trying to be so realistic, uh, you probably won't want a game that has a rewind feature anyways. Uh, one neat thing that I like a lot is between races they give you all kinds of uh, Jeopardy trivia questions. And it's really neat to learn all these kind of historic facts. Not that it makes much of a difference in the actual game, to me mind you, but uh, they got some interesting stuff scrolling across. Right, I'm up to driver level 7. And I must say, this game is not as terrible as the other one would be because uh, they actually got it better with the trigger button, seeing as you have to use the triggers a lot for accelerator, for the accelerator and the brake. And it, it's a lot more, uh, I don't know how to put it, they're a lot more, not, uh, not responsive because it's the exact opposite. In, in Forza Motorsport 2, they were too responsive, and in this one at least, uh, you hit the left left trigger for brake, it, it, you, you don't lock up your wheels as easily as you would have because now I can actually sense uh, that how urgent it is. <laughs> I guess they figured out people use this more than they would a they use a controller more than they would a uh, steering wheel and pedal set which I don't have the room for it, I highly doubt anybody else does. So, uh, I think I've ran out of stuff to talk about but as you can see here they got little tips and stuff and I, I must say, the the game is a lot better. Oh, you can still swap out engines. I didn't know that. I didn't know you could swap out engines still in this game. I don't think you could swap out engines in Forza Motorsport 2, but like I said, I, I hate that game. I haven't played it in a long time, so I'm not even going to go back and look at it. But if you liked the original Forza Motorsport and you hated Forza Motorsport 2, this is actually better than Forza Motorsport 2. And I feel like this should have been Forza Motorsport 2 instead of Forza Motorsport 2 being Forza Motorsport 2. 
So that's my review of this game. And uh, if you're looking for a decent driving game and you got an Xbox 360, get one of these. I think the only thing that looks silly about the graphics is how uh, trees and foliage and crap like that, it all looks flat. It looks like flat PC graphics. While everything else is all nice and bumpy and it's got texture and tessellation added onto it, there's absolutely nothing that they did for the trees. That's the only thing I wish. It's like uh, such flat scenery compared to how rounded and everything else the cars are. Just looks weird. All right, well, that, this is my review. So uh, if you're out there looking for a decent racing game for the Xbox 360, you want to give Forza Motorsport 3 a chance because you hated Forza Motorsport 2, uh, go for it. It's way better.